Crow Scare was the same way. It just silence. Okay, it's not me, it's my basement. Let's go. It's morning. I have to make breakfast. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't. These guys are in the girl game too. A friend hanging out with his little buddy. <laughs> That's cute. Pamper. There's no use for this anymore. My toy box. I try to keep my toys neat. Mom likes when my toys are neat. Oh, I hope this isn't going to be like what I think it is. An old train set. It's fun to play with as it used to be. Mom and Dad's room. The bathroom. I don't have to go right now. Well, that's your plastic. If they weren't, they'd be dead by now. I'm trying to find a kind of voice or whatever. Nothing in this drawer. What to do? Look at drawing. This drawing has been on the fridge forever. Mom and Dad told me that all the great artists signed their work at the bottom. EGO. Always told me not to use the oven unless she was around. Dirty dishes are piled in the sink. Still got bread? Just enough. Two slices. Got bread. Look in the fridge. Good. We haven't run out of jelly yet. We got jelly. We still got... Yeah, peanut butter. I thought so. Peanut butter. That's everything I need, right? I can only make one sandwich, but it'll have to do. Sandwich made. Love their little name. But we're running low on groceries again. I'll make a list and go to the market. But I have to feed them first. To feed who? Feed who? Oh, my. The TV dad set it up for me so I could watch VHS tapes on days when we were stuck inside. But now that he's in here, I find it very hard to rewind the VHS tapes on my own. Wait, I'm scared of my brief. Wait, wait, not here. At the same time, maybe one day I can do that again. Get this drawer, some collecting dust. Okay, it's breakfast time, you guys. Remember to share. Wait. Her parents are fucking zombies. All fed. I better go write that grocery list before I forget. All right, all written down. I guess we're going to the market today. Nothing I need to go in here for. Maybe for this drawer. It's broken. I guess it, when it fixes for me, so the other swing doesn't break. The water's muddy and still. So it's swing over PBJ Ellie. Yeah, it goes bleak AF. Well, here we go again. Here we are again. I hope Miss Baylor has it today. Honey sells honey. I like honey, but it's way too sticky to bring home with all the things, with the way things are right now. Miss Castello sells milk and other dairy products at her stand. Ah, Embry, back again, I see. Hello, Mr. Wilson. May I have some more bread? Oh, sure, sure, of course. What kind? Uh, whatever kind. Right, right. Here, I'll give you some whole wheat. And some sourdough on the house. You like that kind, right? Yes, I do. Thank you. Say, uh, Embers, how is everything? Your folks are all right? Oh, yes, they're fine. Well, not fine, but, you know. Ah, right. Well, I, you know, my kid's back in town this weekend. If your parents want, we could come over and maybe help around the house, bring over some more bread. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Mom and Dad keep telling me they don't want anyone over. They're embarrassed. Right, right. I'll just tell them I offered anyway, okay? Anytime they need it. Right. 
I will. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Welcome back, Dora. We fed a PB and jer jelly sandwiches some to two things living in the basement. We don't know what they are. They just opened the door, tossed the sandwich, closed the door. I assume it's our parents, and I think they're zombies, but I don't know yet. That's all you missed. Now we're going to the market to get food. Oh, Embry, you're back. Good morning. Good morning, Lucille. Can I have some jelly or a jam, whichever? You know, normally I'd ask someone to say please, but you're special. You don't gotta. Sorry, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, I'll get that ready for you, lickety-split. Thank you. So, Embry, this is the third week in a row you've come here dressed like this. I like this outfit. You know, if your mom and pa ever need help with laundry, I don't mind. Do you think I smell, Lucille? Oh, no, no, of course. Oh, is the... You know what, you know what vibe I'm getting all of a sudden with the way she's acting? That one Twilight Zone episode with the kid. You guys know what I'm talking about? I just wanted to, you know, it's all right. They'll be back around once they get over their sickness. Mm hmm yeah, yeah. Like, wish it to the cornfields. Because of the kid who, like, his mind, he could do anything with his mind. Yeah, he sent people away to the cornfield. I'm hoping they'll get better soon. Yeah, me too. Thank you, Lucille. Aster sells flowers. Flowers aren't in need, so I don't shop, stop by here anymore. I miss gardening with Mom. You don't have any today either, do you? I'm afraid not, kiddo. This is like the third shopping trip in a row that you were empty. I know, I know. I know, I know. And you know, if I had any spare, I'd give it to you. You really don't have anything? Look, kid, all I got... All I got needs to be sold. I got people to feed too, you know. Look, kid, I promise. Next time I'll have extra. Next time I have extra, it's all going to you. All right. See you later. Be good, kid. That's all I came here for. I guess there's, uh, nothing left to do but go home. All right. Let's go home. Makes sense to me, yes. Everything's put away. It's getting dark already, huh? I'll have to feed them dinner then before it gets too dark. I hope they're not too hungry after this morning. They eat more than they used to. There's only so much food I can ask for at the market. If I ask for too much, they're going to start wondering where it's all going. You eat so much now. I can hardly keep up. Dinner's ready. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. Dinner time! Dinner is done. I'm tired. I'll go to bed. I think I think it's just how they draw people. Because in their other game, um, everyone is a white-skinned, purple-eyed sort of thing. So I think it's just their style. Time to go to bed. Do you see how easy it is? Wait, who's they? It, is it though? I know, I know what that name, what it means, but it, is is it actually that though? Because I thought in the other game they referred to her as she, like um. I thought they did, but I can go with they. Oh, was it? Okay. They grew so quickly. I thought we'd have to wait forever. It's incredibly easy for a flower to grow in the right conditions. But you have to be careful, too. Because as easy it is, as it is for a flower to bloom, it is just as easy to wilt and wither away. Without a constant eye on things, it's very easy for a flower to wilt. So you must remember to take care of the little thing. Because without that care, your whole garden will fall apart. Whoa. They're banging on the door. They haven't done that in a while. I should 
check on it, right? Hey, Rose, how you doing? They're hungry. But what do I do about it? I already fed them dinner. I have to try and save as much food as I can. But if they're hungry, I, I can't just let them go hungry. Or, or else they might. Oh, we get a choice, but I didn't save it. Shit. Food is times are specific times. Ah! I wasn't even thinking about saving it. So what do we do? Do we feed them or go back to bed? Don't oh, get fat. Um, okay, we'll just go back to bed. There's only two of them. No, I already fed them. They, they can wait until morning, right? I'm going back to bed. make breakfast and also do chores today what chores am i doing today i should probably start making lists like mom used to yeah see i should have saved it again. god damn it i do that far too often wash your dang clothes kid Breakfast. What can I make for breakfast? I'll just use whatever's here. I just got bread yesterday and jelly. Do we still have butter and stuff? Yeah, I'll just make another sandwich. I just hope it'll be filling enough that they didn't don't cause a ruckus again. You got bread. You got butter. Yeah. Just ready again. Um, there's something else I have to do in here. What was it again? All right, today's the fourth of the month. I also forgot to write it down. Today marks four months since it happened. Four months since the monsters appeared. Four months since I've been living like this. Four months that I've been keeping them fed so they don't eat me. Like they ate them. It's not her parents. I have to stay here and take care of things. I'm the only one who can. I try to keep the house clean. As clean as I can. But I can't clean everything by myself and I don't know the right way to clean most of it. I think? I usually try to clean the windows. The house can get really dark when they're not clean. Mom taught me that. My parents. That night they appeared. The sounds that followed. It sounded like they were eaten. But I, I, I didn't actually see that happen. It's just what I think. And since I didn't see it happen, I, I think that maybe they weren't somehow. Maybe I just have to wait here for them to come back. I, I don't know. It's all very confusing. I just, uh... What's that saying the adults say? Take it day by day. I think so. That's what I do. I mean, it's working, isn't it? I'm okay. If I just keep those things down there fed, everything else would be okay too. Okay, so I think, yeah, she's not feeding her, I thought it was her parents gone bad or whatever. She's feeding whatever killed her parents so that it, they don't break out and, fe and feast on her. There's not much to do at home without mom and dad around. I've been reading a lot. I wish I could be like the kids in these books. Because maybe then I'd know what I'm supposed to do. The door again? But this isn't their normal feeding time. Oh. Never mind. Every... 
Are you there? Mom? Embry, it's okay. Mom, you... I know you must have been so scared. But everything is better now. You can open the door. No, y you weren't my mom. What's that now? I if you're really my mom, tell me something only she would know. You're not going to open the door? Really now, after everything I do for you? S stop it! My mom, my mother would never talk like that. Not after being gone for so long. All right, kiddo. This isn't funny anymore. Oh, there's only one ending, okay. Open the door before I get mad. Do, do you really think that's going to work? Dad doesn't yell like that. Pretending to, since when did you learn to talk? I, I'm not going to open the door. No, I'm very, okay, I, I completely missed that part of it. Is it done? Embry? Please let me out. I'm tired of this. Why do you sound like that? I hate this! And you hate it too, don't you? So why are we still doing this? Just open the door already. Monster. That's what you call us, right? That's why you won't open the door? You. How can you say such a thing? How can you treat us this way? Do you really hate yourself this much? What are you talking about? You're talking nonsense. What do you want? I'm keeping you fed, isn't that enough? What else do you want from me? I want out. I want out. I want out. Let us out. I... I... I need fresh air. Are we all monsters? It's okay. I'm just hungry. Everything is okay. I... I never heard them talk before. I didn't even think they could. <clears throat> They're getting smarter, I guess. That's bad. But what am I supposed to do then? Should I just let them starve? No, what am I saying? If I let them go hungry, then the only thing they'd have to le left to eat is... But if I keep feeding them the way I am now... No, no, it's gonna be okay. I, I will figure something out. And I'll just keep feeding them until I do. Oh, excuse me. Speaking of feeding, it's dinner time. Again, I just I hope they don't try something like they did earlier. This cabinet. Again. Look at the fridge. There's something in here. I never end up touching this cheese wheel. It's kind of heavy. It's supposed to be good, but that's pr pr probably collecting mold now. Some people like mold on their cheese, though, right? I'll give it to them. You got cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. They're quiet. I'm not going to announce it's dinner time. I'll just throw it down. All right. They're fed. It's fine. Everything is fine. I'm not edgy. I'm going to bed. Shh. 
They don't know that. Time to go to bed. I told you, it's easy, isn't it? It's fun. Good. That's how it's supposed to feel. If I'm ever feeling worked up, I just start brainstorming the next painting I want to make. I know, even on the worst days, I can always come back to painting to make it better. Will I ever be as good at painting as you are? You could be. You could be whatever you want. Really? Mm-hmm. Something important to remember about painting, though. It's true that if you make a mistake, you could just paint over it. But you can only paint over it so many times before it begins to look jumbled and muddy. So you should make sure you know what you're doing when you go in. So your painting doesn't end up ruined. They're banging on the door again? It's the second night in a row. Are they still mad? I ain't gonna feed them. Hey, oh no. Oh, excuse me. What am I supposed to do? Enough food isn't the only thing they want now. But food also calms them down. I I need them to be calm. But with the amount they already eat. Alright, what what do we do we actually feed them or do we just say fuck it and no, they're not getting anything tonight either. Fuck it, feed him, go to bed. Alright, let him starve? Alright, let's do it. Yeah. I can't. I can't just give it to them. I'll pretend I slept through this. I I'm going back to bed. Dora. Uh, it's, uh... I can't remember what it is either. I <laughs> can't Something about the rod and the child. Spare the rod, spoil the child. That's it. Yeah, it's basically saying, hey, make sure you beat your kids. It's morning. I have to go make breakfast. How much food is left anyways? I might have to go back to the market later. Maybe there will be meat today. I think it's what keeps them the most full. But I have to feed them breakfast before I leave the house. Ikea. All right, we gotta do breakfast first. Oh, look at the drawing. The cereal, because it's, well, not the easiest to transport. I'll just throw them the box. All the boxes. We really have run this low, haven't we? I was just at the market. And each visit is closer together than the last. There, what's that thing? I think Dad would say, eating me out of house and home. I got no choice. After I feed them, I definitely have to go back to the market today. I just hope this is enough for breakfast to begin with. You got cereal. It's the fifth of the month. It's the fifth of the month. Here we go again. Even though it's just cereal, all of it together should be at least. Should at least be enough for breakfast. It's fine. They seem fine with it. I better head out now, then, to make sure I have enough for dinner. Is there a room down here? Oh, that's the exit. Huh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> God. I forget things way too quickly. again. I have to talk to Ms. Baylor before I go anywhere else. If she has any meat today, I have to make sure I get it before anyone else. I'll beg her for it if I have to. Please, Ms. Baylor. I'll take anything. Ms. Baylor? Embry, good morning! Oh, you seem pretty happy today. Uh huh. Does it show on my face? I'm just excited. There's good news for you today. Good news? 
For me? Does that mean you have meat today? Oh, <laughs> no, not exactly. It's a different kind of good news. Oh? What is it then? Well, you see, there's a traveling doctor visiting town today. D doctor? I hear he's quite well known. It's supposed to be real good, yeah? I know you said the doctors here couldn't help your parents, so maybe he can. Y yeah. I'll, uh, I'll try and find him later then. Oh, there's no need to go looking. I can see him talk to Mr. Wilson right now. Oh, really? Why don't you go talk to him? Oh, I'm just so excited for you, Squirt. I'll be watching from here. Go on. Go introduce yourself. Arby's. We have the meats. Technically, I have to call it meat, but not actually the name of the meat because we don't know what exactly it is. Ocean meat. Right. Oh, no. We're going to feed the doctor to the... H Hello? Oh, I remember you're just in time. I'm sure Mr. Ms. Baylor already told you, but this is Dr. D. Light. <laughs> He's a delight to have over for dinner. D. Light? The one and only. And I'm quite a delight, if I do say so myself. So you're Embry. Folks around here tell me you were telling me that you needed some help. It's quite nice to meet you. You're a doctor? Indeedly so. You look like a clown. Well, Embry, hey now! A clown? Oh, I certainly hope I'm a funny one, then. Here, Embry, why don't you introduce Dr. Li Delight to your parents? Feed him to your parents. Well, I think that's what might happen. Meet adjacent. <laughs> if we can help them, he should be able to. Yeah, right. I will do my best to assist. Go on, then. Lead the way. <laughs> oh, fuck. So this is the way to your house. Quite the thicket you walk through, to walk through. Um, Mr. Delight? Ah, uh, uh, it's Doctor. Right. I didn't want to say it in front of everyone else, but you should go. You can't help me. Hey, don't be like that. I'm sure whatever problem your family's been going through, we can fix it. <laughs> Henry, you go to the market all by yourself? Yes. Is that an issue? Oh, I just, well... Seems like a long way for a child to walk all by themselves, that's all. I'm used to it now. So, Emery, what do you like to do? What do you mean? What do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Are you an artist? The stains on your apron seem to hint at it. I'm quite the artist myself, you know. Oh, nothing. Pardon? I don't really do anything anymore. I guess I read sometimes. Oh, what do you like to read? Mm, nothing. I see. Yeah, Quirky Plague Doctor. That's how I'm seeing it, too. Well, while we're still on our way, why don't you tell me a bit about your parents? My parents? Yes, if I'm treating them, I should know about them, shouldn't I? Um, well... Do you know what's afflicted them? Hmm? Your parents, I've been told they're very sick. So sick they can't leave the house. But you, you seem fine. I was just wondering what I should know about them before I meet them. Um, I wouldn't worry about it. Right, I understand. Apologies if asking made you uncomfortable. You know, this walk isn't actually so bad. It's nice to just stroll through nature every now and again. I guess... Still, though, it surprises me you take this walk so often by yourself. You're not scared of any monsters coming out to get you in the woods. Embry, are you alright? Huh? No, sorry, it just... looked like I upset you. Now, the doctor's the only one in the story we can trust. <laughs> Don't worry. Hmm? You seem like you're under a lot of stress. A child with parents so sick, the child has become the caretaker. That must be so difficult. Please, do not worry. I will do all I can to return you to a normal life. Shut up. Huh? I told you, you can't help me. You should just go. Well, can I, can't I at least try? Uh, 
Oh boy. You really still want to see them? I do. Here we are. Your house seems nice. Very cozy. Yeah, sure. Don't be fine. Everyone will be fine. I wonder if anything happens if we take him up here where the actual room is. What's this room? Mom and Dad's room. But uh, they're not in there. Okay. Oh, where are they? Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, my. Quite the heavily locked door. May I inquire as to what's inside? I mean, I'd rather you didn't. Henry, are they in there? Can we open the door? What? No! Hey, 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 it's all right. Can you tell me why they're locked up like this? I, I don't know what's down there, but whatever it is, it's really bad. And we can't open the door. Henry, you... See, I told you that you couldn't help me. I'd still like to try. You're not going to leave until I open the door, right? Okay. I will open the door. I just... Ah, something the matter. My key is gone. That's... I always keep it on me. Did I drop it at the market or something? Did you bring it to the market? I... maybe? I don't know. I don't remember. Why don't we look around here for it here, then? We can check the market after we're sure it isn't here. I'm sure one of the stall owners would have said something if they saw you drop it anyways. That's a good point. Let's look around then, I guess. Wait. A bread box? How cute. There, there is a noise. Yeah, I've had this since before. They had this since before I was born. Oh my. You've got a big brother bread box then. Huh? Ha ha ha! is in good condition, I guess. I don't really touch it. I the tall pantry. But it seems rather empty. Yeah. Fridge on the fridge, yes? Okay, Dora. Yeah, I did, but it was forever ago. So let's see here. This is you in the middle and your parents on both sides. Yeah. That's sweet. What a wonderful drawing. I just heard a noise. And I'm just losing my mind. What's this room? Bathroom. Do you have to go? Oh, no. But thank you for asking. There's not a lot of clothes in here. Yeah, it's easier to just stay in this. Oh, but don't your clothes get dirty? And what about when you need to shower? I just wash my clothes during my shower. I, I see. Note in here. What's this? My friend hanging out with his little buddy. Oh, you make your bed every morning? That's a good habit to practice, I guess. What the? Oh, did you find it? I yeah, I did. But this doesn't make any sense. I've never put the key in here before. I don't even remember. I well, suppose it's good you found it either way. Yeah, I guess so. Oh my, a train set. Have you ever seen a train in real life before? No. Have you? Many times. I use them to get around quite often. I see. Are they cool? Yes, they're very cool. Actually, I'm curious about one thing. The hell is this room? What's this room? This? This leads to the dining room. Mom always hated it because it's so far from the kitchen. She's going to switch the furniture around, but... Yeah. Okay, that's the dining room. <laughs> I love the doctor. The doctor's great. Full bookshelf makes for a full brain. Yeah, there's lots of books here. And quite a variety to add. How delightful. Emery, is this your work? Yeah, why? It's beautiful. Th thanks. Oh, my, oh my. Is that a TV I see? Yeah. I'm impressed. They're quite rare around these parts. Yeah, I remember feeling lucky to have one. 
Very lucky indeed. Does it work? I mean, yeah. The tapes just need to be rewound again. Fascinating. All right. <clears throat> All right. Opening the door now. Seems like quite the long way down. Is there a light switch? It's at the bottom of the stairs. But, uh, I think the light's burnt out anyways. I see. Oh, let's go on then. What? I said we could open the door. I didn't say you could go down. Uh, what do you mean? Of course we have to go down. That's the whole point, isn't it? No, you can't. E Embry, let go. No! Please, let me... There was meat at the market after all. Look at that. It's time for bed already. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, this is dark. It's time to go to bed. That was louder than the other times. I, I need to go check. Wait, do we lock the door? Did we lock the door? Oh, fuck. Basement door is open. I, I didn't open it. I, I definitely locked it before I went to bed. So, so how is that? What do I do? What do we do? There's only one ending to this game, so you got sloppy kid. <laughs> the eye, the butterfly, the eyes. Oh my god, it's like eyes on the. Wow. Yeah, fuck it. I I have no choice. I have to go down there, because if I don't. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I know, right, Falcon? They were. But it, it's a butterfly, but it looked like eyes. Then the eyes looked like they were looking at her. I can't run. I have a feeling there's going to be a chase sequence. Call it a hunch. Kid, this house is a fucked up basement. Oh, God. No, they were always there, but they didn't move until tonight. Oh, God. It's MC. What the? It's her. Y you're... Embry! You... Why do you look like... You look surprised. I don't see why. I thought by now you'd realize... You and I are one and the same. No, that's not... That can't be right. It can't? Why can't it be? Oh, that's right. It's because... You think we're a monster. And that's not you, right? You're not a monster. That's what you think, right? Monster, monster, monster. 
We're monsters, but you're not. Is that right? How does that make sense? You're not a monster? You pushed the doctor down the stairs. What are you talking about? No, I didn't. He fell. I kept tugging on his sleeve and he... He, he stumbled. He tripped. I didn't push anyone. But you opened the door for him, didn't you? You opened the door and then begged him not to look inside. Why did you do that? He wouldn't have tripped if you just let him go. You wouldn't have tripped him if you kept the door shut. He wouldn't have seen the door if you didn't let him in. And maybe he wouldn't have been here to begin with if you weren't such a... monster. Why did you bring him here? Oh, Embry. What are you going to do with yourself? What have you been doing all this time? Feeding, feeding, feeding. And for what? I think you feed me. Because you like it. It makes you feel better when you do, right? You feed me, and then you feel better. The smile keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's so creepy. You feel safe. Nothing is coming to hurt you. And you know, the funny thing about that is, day after day, despite how much you've been feeding me, I'm still hungry. Just a nightmare. Whew. But it's gone on long enough. I was not expecting that. Oh my. That was dark. Yeah, the doctor died. He, yeah, he, he fell down the stairs. Uh, he got... We went looking for the key. We found it. We took him there. He wanted to go down. The, he opened the door for him. And he uh, wanted to go down the stairs. She begged him not to. She tried to stop him. He tripped. He fell down the stairs. She slammed the door shut. Monsters had a feast. She had a nightmare. She woke up. It's got to be over. I thought we were going to talk to them more at the, at the door. Not the... Oh, my God. No, she... I'm sorry. I keep misgendering. They... They took the doctor. Oh, my God. That was... Whew. That was dark! 